All right, so check it out. When I was at San Diego Comic Con, it was a while back, a month or so ago. A couple of you guys that watch the channel go, bro, is there any way you can hook me up with a box set? Which this might be weird next year when 100 people ask me. And you're lucky if you can get like one spare one. Like Shit like that's just not easy to come by. But luckily enough, my wife had two free stamp spaces on her badge where we could pick a couple up and hook up a couple of you guys. And I did. And because of that, somebody mailed me this um, RevTech Venom, which is an amazing toy. I already did a review on that, so thank you. And then like a month later, I mailed this other guy. When I, it was a while back when I mailed this thing out. But then I come home from work, and this preview, previews exclusive Judge Dredd is sitting on my doorstep. And I'm like, what the heck? I wasn't expecting a package. This is weird. I wonder what this is. Open it up. And wow, check this shit out. Like, so Bearded Legends, I followed this dude on Instagram. He hit me up. I hooked him up. He paid me for that. And then he mails me this for free. And I'm like, bro, like this is this is too much. This is ridiculous. Can I pay you? And he's like, don't worry about it, bro. I just appreciate the hookup. Thanks a lot. I really wanted that box set. Here you go. A small token of my uh, appreciation. And I'm just going, dude, I am blown away. Now here's the weird part. Here's the catchy part. Because say, let's say your friends, family, wife, girlfriend, whoever, when your birthday or Christmas rolls around and they're like, I don't know what to get him. He's got everything. The guy literally has everything. There's nothing I can get him. But then you take a complete stranger like Beard of Legends that actually pays attention to me. And whenever I do a mouse code collection video, he watches my collection and sees a missing piece. And it isn't the fact that he got this, it's the fact that he knew that I wanted it and I didn't have it. So we're gonna check out this Judge Dredd and Beard of Legends. Thank you, I really appreciate it. <laughs> So he's standing right about six and a half inches tall. What he comes with is this amazing base, best stand in the game. I love that gold finish paint on it. Really nice. It, it almost looks metal. Like they really did a good job on that. He comes with this like rain jacket, his poncho thing. That's pretty cool, but it'd be a shame to cover up all that goodness. As far as accessory goes, we'll go over it. Handcuff. I think that's like a tape recorder, billy club, some bombs, knife, multiple hands and two guns. Here he is, let's check him out. Okay, so he comes with these handcuffs. These things are amazing. They have a hinge in the middle. They open and close. They really work. Um, God, like they're, they're killing it with the accessories on this toy. Like, like I think like their old toys might be better than their new toys. It's almost like they're kind of getting cheap. Comes with the pointy finger and like a grabby hand. Look at the, the brush work on that thing with the the black wash, everything, really well done. Two fisted hands, really don't see using that anywhere. And the accessories already got a kind of got him set up. He comes with the shotgun here. That thing is really cool. You got the hand like to hold it like double fisted. We'll go ahead and take that out. Take a look at this thing because they really killed it on this toy. Um, this thing, the clip comes out. It's got a shotgun shell in it. Really awesome. Only comes with one clip for the shotgun but i think that's really all you need it would have been nice to have like a blast effect but i think that they really weren't doing that at the time he does come with this pistol that fits right here in his holster this thing also that thing that i thought was like a tape recorder or something it's actually the clip for this this also comes out tons of paintwork on this thing sculpt is really cool like that gun you really can't mess with that comes with a knife that goes into his boot so he basically holds all of his accessories except for the handcuffs but I guess you could have him hold those in his hand his club fits right inside this little loop right here on his belt that thing is actually really hard to get in I'm not gonna take it out I'm just gonna leave it in there for now their grenades fit in these little pouches here and this is where the little extra clip goes is in his back pouch and this thing it's like they were trying to show off or prove something because they don't do this kind of quality on the toys now. First off, these shoulder pads, they're put on with magnet, magnets, really well done. This little badge thing 
is also put on with a magnet. You can unzip his chest and like you can't even see the magnet in his chest. So they really did a good job there. Or you could have him like all, you know, hooked up with his zipper down. That might be kind of a cool look. But I'm going to go ahead and put it back up. This thing is also put on with a magnet. Really well done. Like that thing really locks on. So you can put three magnets in Judge Dread, a figure that you made like two years ago. But you can't put magnets in Spider-Man's feet. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I think that once they get you hooked, they can start reeling back the, the quality because they know that we're going to buy their shit no matter what. The articulation on this is basic. It's just like all of them. It's got a joint at the bottom of the neck, the top of the head, the shoulders ball. Um, it's every. It's basically everything they, that they've did. There's nothing new on the articulation. The boots, like the sculpting, the paint, like I love how it's dirty. I actually like the blue costume. They really killed it with this toy. I'm going to do a couple of comparisons to point out a couple things. Okay, so for a side-by-side -side comparison, here's the Mezco Judge Dredd with the old Toy Biz Judge Dredd. And, I mean, I actually thought this was a pretty good toy. It's no comparison to this thing. Like, this toy is just truly amazing. So one thing that I wanted to point out, like, this is like a new action, one of their newer figures, the Flash or the Deadpool or whatever. They're basically all done the same way. They got this weird Frankenstein stitch going down the back. And it's just like... That, that kind of bothers me. It's like you could find a better way to do that. And then you take one of their older figures like Judge Dredd. There's no seam on the back. But then they have a seam going down the sides of this thing. Like, and it's done really clean. Like they really did a good job. I don't know if it's because of the zipper or whatever it is. But this toy, the outfit on it, the, the soft goods is just done way better than on one of their newer ones. Like this one kind of looks more like pajamas. This thing, I don't know. It, I just like it a little bit better. It just seems like like they're like they got us hooked, so now they can get lazy because it's not like we're gonna stop buying these toys. Here he is. I'm gonna go ahead and throw him up there with the collection. He does come with this poncho. Um it's a really cool poncho, but to cover all this goodness up would just be a total shame. It, uh, it just velcros on the sides, opens right up, you just slide it right over his head. I think this is what they wear like when they get kicked out of the wall, then they got to go out there and there's like a death sentence. They put this thing on and I think that's about the last you see of the judges. So this thing's probably going to go back in the box. It's actually really cool. I'm glad that it came with it, but how do you cover this up? I guess if you had two of them, then you could throw this on one of them. I only have one. I only need one. Um... There he is. Let's check out the collection. Alright, so we'll do a quick walkthrough of my Mezco collection. It's really shaping up pretty nice. Yes, I do got a few other uh, characters in here just to mix it up, liven it up a little bit. You kind of have to because they don't really like making villains that much or sidekicks. So until they do, I'm going to make a little adjustments in here. I was thinking about bringing one of my uh, death characters down here to go with my judge dread so there he is there's the collection bearded legend thank you so much and thanks for watching